Well, let us have a minute of silence for another great childhood franchise that has fallen into the pits of wokeness. I think we're going to need a lot more than a minute. What is going on, everybody? I made a video a couple of weeks ago talking about why I think Saints Row is nothing but woke trash. And I'm back with another video today talking about why I think it is doomed to fail. So sit back and relax and enjoy this video. But before we begin, if you could like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Fans are not happy with his reboot, and I am one of them. And it is clear why. The game may share the same name as the previous Saints Row games, but it is not going to be a Saints Row game, even in spirit. I'd be more comfortable calling Agents of Mayhem a Saints Row game than this game coming out. And in this video, I'm going to show you that I am not the only one with this opinion. That despite some of the comments I got on my other video, that other people the majority of fans and a good portion of them share this exact same opinion. I'm going to show you that this is what other fans are also thinking. I'm going to show you some of the reactions to the trailers from this reboot. First up, I'm going to show you the Saints Row reboot trailer from IGN. It is the reveal trailer. It's not from IGN, but it is posted on their YouTube channel. I'm not going to show you the trailer. I'm going to show you the reactions of it. So if you look right now in here, the likes and the dislikes, 21,000 likes and 45,000 dislikes. That is more than double the amount of likes. I may be bad at math, but I'm smart enough to realize that that isn't a good thing. And it only gets worse if we go down and look at the comments. Let's look at this one here. You know it's bad when the new school and old school fans don't both don't like it. That is the truth. IGN will give this a 10 out of 10 for being stunning and brave. That's the truth too. That is the only reason why critics are going to mark this game up high and give it a high score. I think that we're going to see a lot of 8 out of 10s just because the game's going to be shitty. But the game's probably going to tackle just social justice issues. And that's what's going to give it the media marker, media, media marker high score. These characters look like the greatest hardship was when Starbucks got their order wrong. The trailer screams, it's hip, it's what the kids are into these days. Let us have a minute of silence for another great childhood franchise that has fallen into the pits of wokeness. I think we're going to need a lot more than a minute. All right, now I could go on reading all these comments here, all the bad cameras, but we're going to move on because this video isn't going to be too long. It's going to be a bit longer than my two minute one I posted the other day that I will talk about later in this video. So let's move on here. The Welcome to Santo Elisa trailer. Once again, look at the likes to dislikes. 8.1 likes to 7.1 dislikes. Now that is bad for dislikes. That is really, really bad. Not as bad as the uh, almost double the amount of dislikes from the other reveal trailer, but it is still very, very bad. Look at some of the comments here. We don't want hipsters with glowing helmets. We want gangsters, chicken chicanos, pimps and hustlers and roller riders with purple bandanas. Developer, we created a cast of characters you'd want to invite in your living room. My living room, <laughs> I'm gonna head out. The enemy characters in this game seem more promising than the protagonists themselves. Bruh, when the enemy design looks better than the protagonist, that's gonna be a problem with your game. Why am I standing out here in the desert? It's foreshadowing for this game's sales. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh, yeah, you can see that a lot of people aren't really happy with this. Now, this next one I'm going to show you, it's a bit bad, but it has more positive reception and that is the latest one the latest trailer that came out the like like the boss customization trailer but 
I'm going to tell you something after we look at this one here. As you can see, it has 5,400 likes and 4,500 dislikes. Once again, that is bad, especially since I've been keeping an eye on this trailer and the dislikes are jumping up a lot, but I'm going to talk about that in just one second. Now this trailer here, I admit, I, I like it. I myself like it. Customization in the Saints Roar games has always been their strong suit, but customization isn't going to make a good game. And we can look at some of the comments here. I, uh, you can see my comment right here. And that was about my video, the discovery I made yesterday, I believe, or two days ago. I wonder if Deep Silver wants to answer why the dislikes are being removed from this video earlier today. Talk about that in a second. Like or hate the gameplay and the direction in this reboot, you have to admit that customization is truly Saints Row. Bringing back layered clothing from Saints Row 2, all those detailed options to either make the most unique boss or the most fucked up monster truly game changing. Still not 100% on board, but this is a great feature. I do agree with that. Although I don't like the new art direction, the amount of detail shown in the customization is nuts. Definitely the best part of any Saints Row game. And like I said, that was the main it's like a staple of the series. I don't, maybe not staple, but they always did customization really, really good. They had great customization in their games. Yeah, and like that other comment said, you could uh, you could make a lot of fucked up characters in it, or you can make badasses. Just awesome customization. So let's get back to my issue with this now. This here proves my point that the trailers I showed you that a lot of fans think the same way I think that this game isn't going to be good. And I have a feeling that the people who are saying this was good, the people that were in my comments saying that, oh, I don't know what I'm talking about, that there wasn't enough shown to sh see if the game's going to be good or not, were not, I don't want to say real fans, I'm going to say OG fans of the game fans that were around since saints row 2 saints row 1 i think the people who are for this trailer who think this game's going to be good are the same people that like Watch Dogs 2 and people who hopped onto the series during saints row 4 and then experienced the previous games from that and that is where i think that a lot of the fans for this upcoming reboot would be coming from not from the first and second game like a lot of us are but instead from the later installments now one thing i am going to say about this is that you cannot trust the dislikes the dislikes on this trailer in particular not sure about the other trailers should be way higher when i was doing research for this video a couple of days ago i ran into something that youtube was doing and it's the exact same thing that youtube did with the amazon rings of power and that is the removing the dislikes. At first when I saw this, I didn't think it was anything too big. I thought it was my eyes playing tricks on me, but I knew about the recent controversy they had with the Rings of Power where they were removing dislikes and they were removing comments, negative comments about it. So I went on this little, I wouldn't call it paranoid fit or whatever, but I went ahead and I opened a bunch of new tabs with the trailer in it and I would watch as the likes and dislikes would change. And I found out that the dislikes were jumping down rather than going up at times. In the video I posted yesterday, I believe, it's a, uh, or two days ago, it's a short little video and you can see that it jumps down from 717 dislikes or I think 704 dislikes. And that's not really a big number but I've seen that jump a couple of times, but that was the only one I could get on recording. And those dislikes, they add up. Even if it was just one, two, three dislikes, they all add up. I know this trailer definitely did it. I say that in reality, there's probably a lot more dislikes than likes that are showing on the screen right now. I'm not sure about the other trailers, but if YouTube did it for this one, wouldn't be surprised if YouTube did for the other ones. But what does removing the dislikes mean? I honestly think that Deep Silver knows that fans are not happy. I don't think it's YouTube doing this themselves. I think it's Deep Silver with the hand, maybe convincing YouTube, maybe giving them a little bit of money to make the dislikes go away. 
so that people do not see how many fans actually aren't looking forward to this game. Now you may be looking forward to it and that's great, but the fact is the majority of the fans are not. You can go on any of these trailers and you will see that the fans are not happy with the direction this new Saints Row is going. And like I said before, I am one of them. I've seen a couple of people on my comments there saying that, you know, about the customization and all that, you can change the looks of the characters and all that stuff. But the thing is, you can customize your gang, customize your own character. You cannot customize the, I'm going to say, I guess you can say side characters like the ones that are going to be the generals of the gang and they look like complete hipsters and there's one line that pretty much sums this up that gets me thinking that yes this is exactly how they're going to act and it's this right here the only way this could be better is to be put on a fucking shirt and that right there is why i'm going to hate this game the characters look like hipsters and that line right there clearly shows that that character is going to be shirtless the entire time i mean how stupid is that saints row used to be this i'm going to say the semi-serious game they, they did have moments of humor in it lighter moments in it but it was overall serious i'm not talking about three and four i'm talking about the first two games and it's not that new. Even Saints Row the Third and Saints Row Four had these serious moments in it, even though they were more of this these lighthearted games. But the reboot looks like complete garbage. I said this before. I'm probably gonna get some hate on it for saying it again, but it is. It looks like it's gonna be this rope fucking bullshit hipster game that's going to be ta tackling every social justice issue in the world and it's not going to be a saints row game and i'm not the only one that thinks that i just showed you proof that a lot of fans i'll even say the majority of the fans share the same thought i have not met or talked to even on the internet a fan of the older games that is generally excited for this new game. I think that the people who are excited, like I said earlier in this video, joined in in the series at a later time during either the third game or the fourth game. But this, this isn't what people wanted of a reboot. Even before this was announced, people were saying they wanted their reboot to return to its roots. To return to the Saints Row roots where they had the semi-serious element of you building up a game and taking over a city. But you're probably going to have this in this game, but it's going to be with hipster characters taking over the city for, I believe, in one of the trailers or one of the gameplay footage they were fucking robbing a bank to pay off a student loan. Like, what the fuck, man? Like, no. Like, gangsters, real criminals, they don't care about that shit. Who the fuck cares if they default? They're looking to make money. They're looking to live free, and they're looking to do stuff that's, hey, that's illegal. So who the fuck would care if their student loan defaults? Not a single gangster would. And this game, it's going to fail. Pure and simple, it is going to fail. It is going to be in the fucking $20 bin six months after it launched, maybe even earlier. Mark my words on that. This isn't a game nobody asked for. Nobody at all. I will probably pick it up just to see how bad it is. I'm going to be going in there with lower than low expectations, as you can tell by watching this video. And I actually think that it is going to be dog shit. It is going to be like Watch Dogs 2. And Watch Dogs 2 was just horrible. It was just this hipster fucking mess that tried to shove social justice issues down people's throat. And it's exactly what this fucking game is going to be. But hey, that's just my opinion. If you watched this long, if you could like it and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Peace out.